Hi, my name is Dontavious Lumpkin, and I'm a GED grad. I'm Angelica Marcelino, and I'm a GED graduate. Hola, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Mariana Vega, y orgullosamente puedo decir que lo doy. My name is Mateo, and I am a GED graduate. Hi, I'm Cindy, and after 40 years in raising 10 children, I am a GED graduate. An obstacle I overcame while being in the pandemic and doing my studies was to be time consistent and to stop procrastinating. I overcame fear to get my GED. I overcame homelessness. I overcame self-doubt. And this pandemic, I overcame my obstacle while studying at home, taking care of a two-year-old, well, a one-year-old at the time, and I was pregnant during the pandemic. I overcame many of my problems like lack of self-confidence and self-belief. Obstacles I had to overcome during the pandemic was learning at home with all the distractions. I overcame PTSD and domestic violence and got my GED at 20 years old. And I overcame a traumatic brain injury and got my GED. I started this journey, uh, the pandemic happened. I thought it was going to hinder me, hinder my process, but it didn't. My next plan is to get my degree in business management. Now I'm planning to go to college to continue my study in a major of computer sciences. I have a chance to move further in the healthcare field and preferably I will be a RN within the next four years. I'm going to the University of North Georgia this fall. I use the certificate to be able to stop cosmetology school. I joined the U.S. military and I'm now a United States sailor and I'll continue on this path it's thanks to my GED. My next step is to do the medical administrative assistance program to become a nurse. The goals for my GED was to finish out my career in the medical field, also to be able to attend college. It has been a long journey and I have had much support and I did work hard. And today, I thank everybody. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Thank you.